Now, from WSFA 12 News, this is Friday Night Football Fever. Sponsored by Guardian Credit Union, Jax, Brian Jewelry, The Vance Law Firm, and Greenville Automotive Group. to week 10 of the Friday Night Football Fever. It may be our biggest week yet. Region champs are crowned and teams are still fighting for a spot in the playoffs. Now we had so many big games this week, but we decided to stay in the capital city for our game of the week. The 4A matchup as our game of the week, a battle of unbeatens. Montgomery Catholic hosting Andalusia, and that's where we find WSFA 12 sports reporter Jamal Kennedy. What a turn of events in this game. Yeah, Rosie, I mean, really the tale of two halves, right? They haven't turned the lights off on us yet here over at Montgomery Catholic. But you watch the first half of this game, you might have thought it might have turned out, you know, the, in a different ending. But it turns out, you know, these nights, they had a little bit of fight in them. And I can probably figure out why. Let's go ahead and roll those highlights right. Top-ranked Andalusia on the road, taking on number three, Montgomery Catholic. The region crown on the line. The Knights reminding themselves of how last year ended at the hand of the Bulldogs. First quarter, Josh Griffin trying to make something happen. He's going to get the swing pass, makes a move, but the ball gets punched out. It's recovered by the Bulldogs, and we're going the other way. Bulldogs, they strike fast. Jack Lathrop, the screen pass to Cal Crittenden. And the former Fever Athlete of the Week turns on the Jets. He will see you in the end zone. Six, four, six. Bulldogs get the two-point conversion, and they take an eight-nothing lead. They lead it by that score at halftime. But in the second half, we saw a different night squad come out in the third quarter. And it started with this play right here. Caleb McCreary making guys miss all over the field. And he makes his way up the sideline, and he's going to go for six. Knights on the board, but they fail on the two-point try. So Andalusia still leads it 8-6. to six. But how about this? Catholic scores 27 unanswered, including here in the fourth quarter. McCreary back to pass. Lost it up for his guy, Jatavian Pierce. And he makes a fantastic catch on the end line. 20-8, to eight. Knights. And how about this? Montgomery Catholic wins the region. And they move to 10-0, and 27-14 the final. Kirk Johnson afterwards on the resiliency of his team. That was the first time we've been down. We had to respond. You know, it's, I mean, it's a long season, and we went to the half when we challenged them. Man, that's the first time we've been down in probably two years outside of a loss. Extremely proud of my kids, man. My voice is gone. Thank you guys for being here. Man, go Knights. Go Knights. All right, Rosie, how about that? You know, I mean, 10 and 0 region champs of region two here in 4A and the guys are having fun behind me. They were having a party on the field. You saw Kirk Johnson get dunked there with the Gatorade shower. He wasn't too happy about it. I saw it on his face, but I'm pretty sure he's happy with the win tonight, Rosie. Oh man, incredible highlights, incredible game. That's why that game was our game of the week. Thanks, Jamal. We'll see you soon. All right, let's head out east now. Pike Road taking on Carver. Winner takes the region. The loser still gets second place in home field in round one of the playoffs. The score was tied at eight when I got there in the second quarter. Pike Road in the red zone. Casey Myers hands it off. The ball is loose. There's chaos. Looks like Carver recovered it, but no, it ends up being Pike Road recovering the fumble in the end zone. Desmond Harbor, big boy touchdown. Patriots up 15 to 8. Now Carver would turn it over on downs on the next drive. So Pike Road ball again. Myers scrambling, but he gets taken down by Jamarian McKinnon. But that doesn't stop the Patriots. Myers. And the crew close to the end zone, Jermichael Jones, shifty. He's going to reach in. Oh, yeah, that's a touchdown. Patriots up 22 to 8. Pike Road goes on to win 43 to 22, taking the region crown. Well, another big region championship game. 
unbeaten Highland home visiting unbeaten real town. First offensive drive for the Rebels. Fourth down play and Tay Martin is open 24 7 12 on channel 12 making big plays. Takes this one in from Jake Thornsby for an early real town lead. Highland home up. Highland home down 13 nothing at the half but coming out of the half the squadron getting right back in it. Bryce McKenzie battles his way on in to get a score there. Later in the third, Arthur Wood says it's his time to shine and he flies in the end zone. Rebels back up two scores. Now a ruckus crowd backs the Rebels there as we go into the fourth. Highland home not going away as a tip drill pass. Touchdown pass by Jaquel Folk puts them back within one score. So just over two minutes left. Fourth and long for the squadron. McKenzie, he's going to scramble around. Pray to Lady Luck as he lets it fly. But it would fall to the turf. Clock would hit all zeros, meaning it's celebration time in real town. They capture the region title with a score of a 21 to 14. Wow, what a game. All right, let's head over to Montgomery Academy where the Eagles are hosting Geneva, and they need a win there to make the playoffs. Montgomery Academy does. First play for the Eagles offense, and how about this? Parker Cook cooking up a deep ball down the field to his man Derek Vinson, the second, and the deuce is loose. He strolls into the end zone. Next Eagles drive. Cook goes to the air again. William Harden is the receiver this time, and it's another touchdown for Montgomery Academy, and it's 14-0 Eagles. We go to the second quarter, and they just won't stop. They tack on one more. Number 12 on channel 12. Chance Wilson takes the handoff and breaks through the defense, and he is long gone. Sayonara, 21-0 Montgomery Academy. Cook, four touchdown passes in the first half alone. Eagles win 55. Eagles went 55 to 24. All right, Holtville on the road facing Elmore County. Bulldogs losing by a touchdown in the second quarter. Their ball now. Kylan Baker finds Elijah Headley for a 45-yard touchdown pass. Makes the extra point. We got a tie ball game. Now the Panthers ball at their own 45. The direct snap to Kate Eberson. There he goes, folks. Breaks through for a 60-yard touchdown run. They're up 21 to 14. But listen, Holtville not down yet. They respond here. The kickoff goes to Cedric Krosky. Do not blink. You're going to miss it. He is in from 70 yards out. He's already in. Touchdown. My, oh, my. He is fast. We're tied again at 21. But here is the winning touchdown. Riles McNeely finding Everson in the corner of the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown for the Panthers. That was the last score of the game in the first half. Panthers win 28 to 21. All right, don't go anywhere. More region play is happening next. And we have a BTW win in a fight against Dale County. And Jag wants to play spoiler against Enterprise who needs the win to stay in the playoff picture.